Hi, it's Ashik here. Welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I will show you how to prepare a partnership capital account. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, uh, look at the question here. What is written? Kim, a sole trader, provided the following statements. Okay, so this is the statement of financial position, balance sheet at 30 uh, September 2014. Okay, so he is a Kim, is a sole trader. Now he will convert this business to a partnership business. That means he's gonna take one more partner in his business, okay? So already he has the balance sheet of which is on uh, 30 September 2014, and there are some more informations. So look at here, here additional information. What is written on 1st October 2000, 2014? Kim admitted Chen as a partner, okay? So that means first from 1st October, Chen will be the another uh, owner of the business okay then adjustment number two wall street in was valued at one hundred twenty thousand dollar but will not remain in the in the books of the partnership so here you need to prepare uh, the uh, capital accounts for this both partners okay so first one is scheme so let us write here capital account so look at here, capital and liabilities. Opening balance was $600,000. Then profit is added $80,000. Then drawings drawings are subtracted $88,000, okay? Then what is the net capital? It is $592,000, okay? So this is the value already Kim has, okay? So this that means this is a balance PD, okay? So right here, 2014, September 30, okay. So it is balance. Balance video $592,000 given in the question. Okay. Then look at adjustment number two. What is written? Goodwill was followed at $120,000 but will not remain in the face in the uh, books of the partnership so this is the value of goodwill which will increase the capital okay so it will come here this credit side okay so what is the date here 2014 and given the date october 1st okay so city first so you write here goodwill which is $120,000, okay? Then what is next here? The profit margin, uh, the profit sharing ratio was agreed at Kim uh, 60% and Jen, the new partner, 40%, okay? So with this ratio, you have to uh, distribute the goodwill between these two partners okay so here uh, goodwill is $120,000 okay and 60% for for Kim and for Jen will be 120,000 times 40% okay so if you calculate it, it is $72,000 and here $48,000, okay? So this value will, will reduce the capital of Kim, okay? As he's sharing his business with Chen, okay? So here again, you need to write 2014 October 1st. So you need to write here goodwill, goodwill $72,000, okay? So there is no more adjustment here. Now you need to calculate. So now if we, if you add these values here, it is 
12,000, okay? Take this value here in the opposite side, $712,000. Now, if you subtract this value, $72,000 from this $712,000, uh, it is $640,000, okay? So, this is balance carried down, okay? Balance CD. So, date will be again 2014 October 1st, okay? So, this balance will be brought down as 2014 November 1st, okay? So, here it will be balance. BD okay this same value will come here six hundred forty thousand dollars it is very easy yeah so now let us prepare uh, this capital account for change the new partner so here capital account so chain okay fine so as chain is the new partner for this business that means he has no balance okay previous balance so what he brought in the business so look at here adjustment number four Cheng agreed to pay a check of $160,000 to the partnership okay that means he will bring bank balance okay so right here 2014 uh, october 1st so you brought check means you need to write here bank okay so why we are writing here in the credit side because uh, this check will increase the capital okay when capital is increased capital will be credited okay so bank is here $160,000. Okay, great. Uh, what is next here? Uh, in addition, introduced equipment valued at $325,000. That means he brought uh, equipment as well in the business. So same date, right here, equipment. Okay, $325,000, yes. Okay, we do $325,000. Then what is today in the question? Inventory valued at $26,000. So he got inventory as well. Okay, so one more item here. So let us start inventory, $26,000. So, he brought these items here in the business. That is why Kim allowed him in the business as a partner, okay? And Kim, Kim will share the profit or, or loss with Chin in the business. So, here we have calculated uh, uh, what is called goodwill for Chin, yeah? Which is 48000 dollars so this good deal will this value of good deal will uh, decrease the capital of the business so let us write here good deal. okay so it is forty eight thousand dollars and date is 2014 october first okay so, no more item to enter in this capital account. Now, we will balance this. So, how to balance it? Same, you compare these two columns. Check which column is greater in terms of money, okay? So, here if we calculate, it is $511,000, okay? Now, take this value here to the opposite side. Five hundred eleven thousand dollars. Okay, then if we subtract this forty-eight thousand dollars from this five hundred eleven thousand dollars, then what is your answer? 
it is four hundred sixty three thousand dollars okay so this is called balance cd okay so that will be 2014 october 31st so this balance cd will be balance pd to the opposite side okay so and that will be the first first day of next month 2014 november 1st you need to write here balance video okay so how much four hundred sixty three thousand dollars okay so this is how you need to prepare capital account so this is very easy when you understand okay so practice these questions twice twice at home then you see whatever question you get you'll be able to answer okay so this is all about how to this lesson in my next video I will show you how to prepare a statement of financial position that is balance sheet for this partnership account okay so subscribe my channel for more new videos and share this lesson with your friends I'll see you soon you stay safe bye bye and take care